Okay, so in this video, I want to find any possible non-stationary points of reflection for the curve y equals x to the 4 minus x. Okay, so first of all, the first derivative, 4x cubed minus 1. Okay, so I want to find the stationary points. So I'm going to put the first derivative equal to 0. 4x cubed minus 1 is 0. Okay, so uh, we're going to get x cubed is 1 quarter. So x is the cube root of a quarter. Okay, that is the only stationary point. Okay, right. So now the second derivative, put that... Uh, find that. So that would be 12x squared. Okay. Now the second derivative is 0. When x is 0. So the only possible non-stationary point of inflection is when x is 0. Because that's definitely not a stationary point. Okay. So we need to look at the... Uh, second derivative, either side. So when x is 0, so let's try minus uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Seem reasonable? So substitute those points into the second derivative. So 12 lots of that squared, so we get 3 25ths, so that's positive. And substituting 0 0.1 into that, well, we get the same thing, which is positive. So we've got convex to convex, which means there isn't a change of sign. So there are no non-stationary points of inflection. Now, this is the thing. This is a very important example um, because it's a very, very basic curve that has the interesting property that actually, although it looks as if there is going to be a non-stationary point of inflection because... Well, you get a solution to the second derivative, which is not a stationary point, but it's not a point of inflection because the sign of the second derivative does not change. It doesn't go from convex to concave or concave to convex. Okay? In actual fact, because the second derivative, 12x squared, that is greater than or equal to zero for all real values of x, okay? So that means that except when x is 0, the curve is convex for every single point apart from when x is 0, okay? So it is never concave, so there are no points of inflection at all on this curve, okay? So this is a very useful example to identify that these checks that we are doing need to be put in place. We need to check uh, what the first, uh, sorry, the st where the stationary points are to check that this isn't one of them. And we also need to check that the second derivative changes sign either side. If you don't have that, if you just did that process, you would be fooled into thinking that x is zero is actually a non-stationary point of inflection if you don't do this important check.